So this video is going to demonstrate uh, how to tin uh, the PCB pad. The reason we are tinning the PCB pad is the mask sometimes are uh, varying thicknesses in various locations. So what happens is the actual contact pad is below the surface of the mask. Um, it needs to be very close to the same level as the mask or higher than the mask. Anytime when we do um, hot air solder leveling, the hot air solder leveling puts like a nice bump that will bring it up. But sometimes like a gold enig plating or other type of a plating, they are more flat but they were much below the surface. So some of the contact technologies like elastomers will not deform and bend and make a good contact especially when the pitch is smaller and the pad size is smaller. So right now uh, we are going to demonstrate how to tin the pad uh, without too much effort. Right now um, our technician is putting a flux on the board just basically simply applying the flux and uh, using a standard um, soldering iron those are typically about 900 degrees C on the tip she's using a solder wire and then grabbing a solder blob you can see it mm -hmm. so she is not really touching the iron on the board but only the blob is getting touched on the pad now by running this iron over this pad the blob gets transferred down there now she is taking more solder blob and running where the pads are so you don't want it to really touch the pads with the iron because then you are hitting the pad with a 900 degree C it may rip the pad off mm -hmm. so we are touching only the blob onto the pad and the blob gets transferred down and you don't have to worry about shorting because it will only attract to the co copper pad or gold pad area only mm -hmm. uh, and you don't want it to keep it there for a longer time either you want it to run it like how she is doing it there I think this is a pretty good process she covered all the pads in like less than five to ten seconds under the microscope if it is built up nice and if it is not you can run the, repeat the same process um, after this process is done the board is put in ultrasonic water and then cleaned all the fluxes and the pads will be nice and smooth so uh, in another case where there is a socket is already mounted on the board you want it to build up the pad um, you can apply the flux but you want it to carefully lift the board and then use the soldering iron and touch it you may not be able to run it like the one that is shown previously now you have to go like one at a time but make sure don't touch the pad just allow the solder blob to touch the pad and then attract the solder by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that finishes the demonstration. Thank you.